Hello, I'm Erin Laramore. I'm the University Archivist at UNCG. I'm talking today with Richard Cox, who's in our Electronic Resources and Information Technology Department. Um, this is the first video in hopefully a series we're going to be doing, focusing on collections and the collections of folks in the library and collections they have at their homes. So Richard, tell us a little bit about what you collect. Sure, I collect um, Toho Kaiju toys, which is the company that produced uh, movies like the Godzilla series, and also um, toys from a specific um, series put out by Subaru Communications called Ultra Q. So what got you started collecting Godzilla toys and how long have you been at it? Um, sure, I've been collecting as an adult since about 1993, 1994. Um, I sort of got into it because as a kid, while a lot of people were, you know, my age, my youthful age, were more into like Star Wars. And so while I was as well and buying all the Star Wars toys and that sort of thing, I was um, running home from school in the afternoons. And instead of doing things with Star Wars, I was turning on UHF for those who remember UHF and watching this series of TV shows. It was basically Speed Racer, Star Blazers, and Ultraman. Um, Ultraman being um, basically Jap Japan's version of Superman, but 1966, giant, bigger than buildings, and fighting kaiju. Um, and then followed that up with Godzilla movies on the weekend. And um, I actually had a set of uh, American reissues of uh, some toys, of uh, it was a combination of Godzilla and Ultraman toys from the 1970s called Godzilla's Gang and some Shogun Warrior stuff. So while everyone was running around their little Star Wars toys, I was playing with Godzilla and Ultraman toys in North Carolina in the 70s. And awesome. just grew from there. Yeah. Well, can you uh, tell us a little bit about one of your favorite or most prized items in the collection? Yeah, um, other than these two gentlemen I have posed here, um, I'll point out, since I mentioned the Godzilla the Gangs figure, is one of the things I was been working on as an adult, is trying to get all those figures again, which is pretty, not, not that difficult, except because I'm a collector and a dork, I got them all bagged, like they originally were offered, in good condition, on the stands as a kid, so um, still got it in his original bag with his original header card. And on the back, it shows all the other little Ultraman figures in the series. So I've been able to actually put together a complete collection of these, like, six, eight figures um, and a couple other things related to the series. So while they're not the rarest things or maybe the most brightly colored or interesting things to a lot of people, they're the ones that actually kind of have the sentimental value for me. So they're some of my favorites. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing your collection with us today. Thank you. I appreciate it.